Hi, welcome back. This is my second video in a series of using yoga to manage anxiety. My name is Skyla Ramirez. In the last video, we looked at color and sound therapy to manage anxiety, which are fantastic tools to try, especially in social settings. So breathing is a fantastic way to work on managing anxiety particularly because the manipulation of the breath ultimately affects the cardiopulmonary system, thus affecting brain rhythms. There are a few breathing techniques that we can try. One of them is belly breathing. Belly breathing is the same as diaphragmatic breathing. And in this breathing technique, you would just imagine that there is a balloon in your stomach and every time you inhale, the stomach expands, and when you exhale, the belly contracts. So in this very basic breathing technique, diaphragmatic breathing, sometimes it can trigger a phenomenon known as anxiety-induced relaxation. So the belly breathing technique is something that I recommend you try when you are not so much in an activated or anxious state if you feel that you are already activated and that you are already anxious, I feel that it is more useful to meet the body where it is. An anxious breath is usually up in the chest. So to manage anxiety and meet the body where it is, we can use both belly breathing and breathing up into the chest to manage anxiety. Sometimes this is known as a three-part breath in our Yoga Fit curriculum. If you'd like to just break it down into two parts, that might make it a little more tangible to access the breath. The first step is identifying the breath way down low in your belly. And as you inhale, you're gonna round out the belly and then let the breath just rise up into your heart. You might even wanna push your collarbones and your sternum up with the breath. Then as you exhale, try exhaling from the throat and exhale really slow. You might wanna try this anywhere from five to 10 times, breathing into the belly, letting the breath come up into the heart and actively lifting the ribs, opening up the collarbones and the throat a little bit. And as you exhale, you're exhaling from the top down. So. Another technique you can try is counting the breath. Just counting the breath through each inhale and each exhale. And I like to start with equal ratio breathing. As you inhale, you would count in your mind, maybe even saying to yourself, inhaling one, two, three, exhaling three, two, one. If you want to layer the technique of belly and chest or heart breathing with it, you could inhale one, two, three, exhale, three, two, one. If you feel that you're comfortable with that equal ratio breath, go ahead and transition it into a sinking breath where you would try to stretch out the exhale ultimately trying to double the length of the exhalation and compared to the inhalation. And I find it's really helpful to recruit some sort of an inner voice to kind of coach you through the breath. So as an example, this is how I usually do the breath, speaking to myself in my own mind. I find my belly, I find my heart, and the hands on the heart and the belly are just nice um, kinesthetic markers to bring awareness to the body and the breath, which can draw attention from the mind and can filter it into other places. So from here, I would inhale one, two, three, exhale six, five, four, three, two, one, and then relax. When you're doing these breathing techniques, notice if there are any gaps in the breath. Notice if you're pausing after you exhale or after your inhale and really try to eliminate any excessive gaps in the breath after you inhale or exhale. There are some other breathing techniques known as kumbhaka, where you would actually hold the breath or you would pause after you exhale or pause after you inhale. These are considered more advanced breathing techniques. So um, I'll address that in a later video. For the meantime, please just start to 
Get familiar with these basic breathing techniques, the counting, finding the breath in your belly, finding the breath in your heart. And if you've already watched the first video, then you can even layer the color and the sound to this. So you could inhale, seeing the color blue, and then exhale very slow, seeing the color red move out of your body. I hope you have a fantastic day. Please stay tuned. Tune in for the next video where we explore Kumbhaka, breath retention, creating some space or suspending the breath in, um, in your breathing rhythms. And also to come, we're gonna look at physical movement, mudras, and um, thoughts and emotional patterns that we might be able to manipulate to manage anxiety. Have a fantastic day. Namaste. My soul creates yours. Have a good one.